hope you've all had a really good week. This week what we're going to be doing is your person's thoughts about you. Now we're going into a very earthly energy for this. I, I chose um, the Brady Tarot and the, uh, the Holy Tree Tarot as I call it. It's called the Three T Trees Tarot for the oak, the ash and the thorn, the three, three major holy trees. Um, so deck number one and deck number two, we're going to look at your person's thoughts about you. What are they thinking about you right now? So think about your person for me. And as you think about your person, feel that heart centered energy you have towards them and push it into the deck. Let me just get Poppy. Pops, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come say hi. You want to come say hi? Come here. Here she is. I know a lot of you always ask how she is and, um, she's dead camera shy though. So I have to kind of swivel her around a little bit. There she is. There we go. I have to lift my leg up. Okay, I cut it out when Poppy jumped off because uh, she, she was running around like crazy. So deck number one and deck number two. Let's do this. Number one. So think about your person for me. I'm just going to go into the collective energy, which is all of you guys. Uh, go into all your energy, all your people's energy, and we'll pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So... Let's go. Think about your person, their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So I'm getting this song through my right ear, Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. Now, I don't know if any of you have specifically heard those lyrics. Um, it's quite an, an intense song. Uh, very much reminds me of the devil card with, um, with, with the tarot. Very much about the connection that you share, the energy that you share, the passionate, but also the kind of addictive energy from that but sometimes perhaps a little bit of toxicity that comes with it. Um, a spe spirit are specifically mentioning the lyrics, I love you, ain't that the worst thing you've ever heard. Um, so the intensity of this connection is coming up first and foremost with you guys. So let's have a look. What are they thinking about the people watching? So where's on the strongest mutual energy between you all? What are they thinking? Two. Three, what are they thinking? Four, five, how many do you want? Okay, we're just gonna go for eight today. Unless the cards tell us differently, spirit are saying eight. Seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna have this one as well these two because they are sitting at the top of the deck and let's have a look what's at the bottom magician okay so what's going on with you and per your person what are they thinking about you your person might have withdrawn a little bit from the situation at the moment you might have felt that they have pulled away that you're feeling a little bit fed up that you're not really sure whether you're coming or going what you're doing what's going on and um, a sense of confusion coming up around you guys and um, your person hasn't been very forthcoming spirit are saying with their communication with you with them telling you how they feel about it so you're left there with the pieces trying to put the pieces of the jigsaw together unsure of what is actually happening between you guys and part of the reason for that again is because they might have withdrawn they might have gone ghost they might have gone quiet they might be blowing a little bit hot a little bit cold sense of confusion and a little bit of chaos going on around you guys as well and um, there has been a sense of what's actually happening. Do I give up on this connection? Do I keep moving myself forward? What pathway do I go down? So with their thoughts towards you, first and foremost, coming from your energy into theirs, there is this sense of, I'm actually really fed up here. I don't know what I want to do. And the reason for that is because your person isn't communicating with you what it is that they want from the connection. And it's leading to this um, kind of spirit saying like a blank picture, a blank scape. You don't know what a blank scape, like a land, landscape, but that's blank. They just called it a blank scape. Um, this blank scape, you don't know what direction you're going in, what pathway you're going in and what is going on, what your person is actually thinking about you. They are a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit backwards, a little bit forwards, a little bit coming, a little bit going, and it is leading to this overall sense of chaos with you guys. Now, the reason for that is because your person is kind of digging deep within their soul at this moment in time. Their head is often pulling them one direction, spirit is saying, um, and their heart is and soul, heart and soul are pulling them towards you. So they're trying to walk this fine line at the moment between the two, the two realms of soul. 
such between the head and what their logic is saying and between what their soul is calling them and this is the reason why they are a little bit here and a little bit there backwards forwards round and round you might feel that you're going round in a little bit of a cycle with your person and in this cycle you just you don't know you don't really know what is going on with them and what they are thinking now in your person's thoughts towards you, they are seeing you and they are thinking of you in this very strong position that they know that you've worked really hard to be the, the person that you are today, that you've done a lot of soul searching. A lot of you haven't had the easiest lives. Um, and through that, easy, through, through that, you've really grown and developed as a person that you are today. And you've undergone a lot of changes. You really embrace things. And they see that and they see that strength that rises up within you. And that is a major, major pull towards you. Again, soul connection coming forward over here. Very strong pull from the soul energies between you guys. You guys have lived multiple lifetimes together. Um, if you want to look at past life readings, just give me a shout. All the details are on the website. But the connection between you guys is there. It is strong. And Spirit is saying it is unshakable. It's unmovable. So it's not something that's just going to disappear and vanish into the sunset. And if it has done for a little while, it will return to you. Spirit has shown me the clear energies of the helixes, the DNA um, that's kind of embodied in a soul connection, how you wave in and out of each other's lives. Um, so even if they have vanished for a little while, there is going to be this common background, your wavering energies back towards one another. They're seeing you in this very strong position and to them that makes them feel a little bit weak as well. So there's a, a sense in a way of a little bit of envy happening here that they've seen how you life has perhaps dealt you really difficult cards and how you've progressed your, yourself forward, how you've made the best out of a bad situation and progressed yourself forward. So there's a little bit of envy there because your person is a little bit set in their ways, a little bit unsure what they should be doing, what pathway they're meant to be going down. And they're just kind of playing for time a little bit. It's a bit of a fifth bath, spirit would say. A bit, you know, they're playing for time. Nothing much is really happening with you and them at this moment. And like I said, when they do make moves towards you, they withdraw those moves. Um, and the reason for that is the uncertainty of the head and the heart. The logic is really weighing heavily on their mind, thinking, well, stuff happened when I was younger. I'm not sure if I'm ready for a relationship. I've got tons of baggage for some of you guys, uh, family issues, addiction issues, a bunch of issues kind of coming up that your person is really getting into their thought process. So they withdraw and then when they really start missing you and longing for you and seeing you in this very strong energy, that pull back towards you gets so intense because their soul craves your energy. And very much seeing the devil card again, coming back to that cruel summer song. You guys are feeling at your wit's end. You're not really sure where this is going or what's progressing between the two of you. Now, your person has got very real emotions for you. They do deeply care for you. It's just that they're acting more on this logical side of things at this point in time. So their thought process on it, they're making slow movement towards you, okay? It is still movement. It's probably on the, on the speed of a snail. You might feel it's on the speed of a snail, but there is slow movement happening towards you. Now we have a mole indicated on this card and the moles kind of can be a little bit blinded. They go inside, they go under the, under the earth to kind of process things to work out how they're feeling, what's going on. Um, and they obviously have this blindness towards them, but they also have a great sense of perception. So do trust your instincts with this. Don't feel as if you're being blinded by love. Your person is also kind of blind with the connection, really going with the flow of it. You know, they're not making great headway towards it, but there is still movement. So still movement happening towards you, slow and steady movement. Um, and perhaps a little bit of blindness with regard to the connection. But at the same time, that blindness is teaching you to follow your own intuition on it. OK, so do trust your own instinct. You know, there is a lot of changes happening in this deck. Lots of changes going on all around you. Do watch out for the symbology of owls. Spirit is showing me um, specifically Minerva or Tawny owls just to really throw in the specifics of what owl you should be looking for. Those owls are really going to symbolise the changes. They've also just shown me 555, um, so do pay, pay attention to sequences of the numbers 555. 
okay? All about creating these major changes within your life. You and your person are about to go through this great change, this great um, kind of passageway, this, this passage that you're going to be traveling down together to open up new opportunities for you guys. But your person just has to step out of their fear energy, which is what's leading this connection at the moment. So a lot of fear energy coming up with them, um, two steps backward, three, two steps forward, three steps backward because of the fears that surround this. And it's not fears with regard to you, it's fears with regard to them, insecurity within themselves, insecurity with what they've been through in their life. And again, that's why they have this sense of envy when it comes to you, because you may have been able to move yourself forward, you've been able to progress. Now, there is good news that comes with this kind of more heavy energy. Um, there is good news over here that your person with this slow and steady movement is coming towards you with an offer of love. Children also being brought into this for a few of you. Um, if you're hoping for a baby, children are coming up. Um, for those of you, um, if they've already got kids, children again being brought into this equation. You have your victory and you have your celebration popping up over here. So your person's thoughts towards you, even though they're a little bit, it's saying backwards, even though they're a little bit backwards at this moment in time, there is going to be forward movement, there is going to be forward progression. Are they going to tell you what they're thinking? No, <laughs> they're not. Reason for that is because they don't really know what they're thinking themselves over this situation they're again coming back to that sense of chaos and confusion they are confused by it because there is this this fine line that they're walking between the earthly and the the spiritual the 3d the 5d the mind and um the mind and the heart the air and the water they are trying to work, walk this very thin line between the two realms um the duality of life why we are here you know they're trying to balance those energies out and they don't really know how to do it so they're not going to really openly express to you what is going on your best bet here is to really just go with the flow of it go with the flow of the energy ride it through it you know try not to force um your emotions onto them because if you do that while they're feeling a little bit insecure they're gonna just back you're gonna feel like they're gonna feel backed into a corner so just go with the flow of it if they talk to you about your emotion their emotions then talk to them about yours if they talk to you about other things you know let them take the lead on it whatever energy they throw on you mirror that energy back towards them and that can lead to this much more positive progression routes between you guys much more positive they do really like you they do have very strong emotions for you they do have hope that this is gonna kind of turn around there is a breaking of a cycle breaking of a loop um great changes kind of coming up with you guys massive massive changes with them withdrawing let them just kind of go you know give them a bit of space they will bounce back to you i don't know if you guys ever read men are from mars women are from venus i said this in someone's reading yesterday um there is a part in that book Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, um, but as spiritual people, it works with masculine and feminine energies. Um, so there is a part in that book that talks about um, the male energy or man kind of pulling away the elastic band theory. They pull away, reach their maximum capacity of stretching, and then they bounce back. Reason for that is because they release a, a physical chemical uh, pheromone I think it is in their brain um, which makes that happen so it's not really even their fault on occasions okay so if they have withdrawn let them go they'll bounce back towards you um, do care for you do trust your own in intuition on this there is going to be great changes coming towards you with offers um, yes it is slow it is slow it is a bit backwards and forwards but your overall outcome of this is really positive and it is really good um, it's just about embracing it embracing the changes Try not to be too blinded by your emotions for your person. Um, they have got these emotions for you. But, you know, when you're feeling that your emotions are everywhere, when we're saying blinded by your emotions, um, how you're feeling, you're feeling crappy, you're feeling sad. Instead, you're thinking that they're thinking this about you and that about you. Instead of going with what your mind is saying, please do follow your intuition. And that's why spirit is saying don't be blinded by your thoughts. OK, your person does really care about you. It's just a bit of a cycle that you guys are, are stuck in at the moment. It will break. It will break. The cycle will kind of go a different direction. It's just going to take a bit of time. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. I just had a um, the clairvoyant of what was it? The turtle and the hare. The story of that. 
you know the slow turtle uh, wins the race rather than the hare that was racing around and I can't even remember the story of that but they've just made um, a direct alignment with that energy for you guys so slow and steady will win it okay if you need me my turnaround time time is down on readings at the moment because England is still on lockdown completely at the moment so I'm in the house all day every day so I'm just reading uh, so if you need me now is a really good time for you guys to book uh, I'm sending tons of love to you lots of goddess blessings coming right your way and I will speak to you guys soon lots of love okay beauties deck number two the three t trees tarot try and say that really quick three trees tarot uh the oak the ash and the thorn magical Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes? My turnaround time is down on readings at the moment. If you want to book in, it's a good time. Um, England is still on complete and utter lockdown, so I am at home all the time, reading all the time. So if you need me, uh, it's a good time to book. Okay, what is their person thinking about them? Okay, let's see where we're going with this. Where, what is their person thinking about deck number two? I love this deck. It's just so, so beautiful. The energy on it is just magnificent. I'm just going to get eight again. So... There seems to be a direct correlation over here with a lot of possibilities and chances coming up with you guys. A lot of action, a lot of movement, even if it's gone a little bit dark at the moment and your person stepped away, there is, there is this kind of possibility energy coming forward over here. Two more, one, mm, two, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what is your person thinking about you at the moment? Now, some of the, your guys watching, they might have stepped away from the situation, took a little bit of a detour, Spirit is saying. Um, you might think that they've vanished into the sunset, but Spirit is just simply saying it's a bit of a detour. There's a lot of shadows being illuminated around them at the moment. So what they're doing is they are thinking that they've got to this point in their life. They're not really sure what pathway they should be going down next. So they're just kind of lingering, not doing anything um, and kind of withdrawing a bit as they are focusing on the shadow side of things, pushing through the shadows, Spirit is saying. Um, now, the reason why this is kind of happening is for them to realise what it is that they want from the connection. OK, so their mind's been a little bit, um, I said this in deck number one, sometimes the readings kind of echo each other a little bit. There's this kind of very strong thought process going on over here. Um, more so with deck number two, that they aren't really sure what they should be doing. All roads have led them to where they are now. And they feel in a sense that they're kind of existing rather than living their life. There's a feeling of feeling fed up with everything, feeling of feeling fed up with themselves and feeling of thinking, how did I get where I am now? What led me to where I am? So with that, that your person is experiencing a few dark nights of the soul. They are doing a lot of soul searching at this point in time. And in that soul searching is where these new possibilities and opportunities are going to be coming forward from your person. So it's in only in the kind of spirit of saying in the darkest of times is when we realise to turn on the light. And it was that was a Harry Potter quote. I'm sure that there's something like that in Harry Potter. You, there's been a few roadblocks in the way with this connection. You're feeling like you've been banging your head against a brick wall on occasions, like what's actually happening? What's actually going on? Um, but your person has kind of had to go through these darker times to realise what it is that they want. Now, you might not even know your person is going through dark times. The only way you're going to know it is how that actions echo onto you. So if they've been a bit weird or they haven't been talking or it's all a little bit meh, gone to crap or shit or whatever you want to call it, it's because your person is going through these dark nights of the soul, working out what it is that they want. They're really searching for this freedom in their life again. They're trying to kind of channel who they really are as a person. A lot of soul searching, a lot of trying to bring this self-love to the forefront. Now you guys have been working very hard on your self-love and if you've been doing that it's going to be echoing onto your person. So they've been experiencing a bit of a difficult time recently, more so in the last couple of months, Spirit's saying about two months it's been a bit more of a difficult time for them. 
Now, in their thought process towards you, they can see that there is a future over here. They can see um, family, they can see fertility, and I don't necessarily mean fertility or pregnancy. And oh, unless that's something that you want, um, this is fertility of the connection, fertility for things to be progressing forward. And just like when you, you conceive a child, you have that nine month of gestation period before the birth. And this is where your energy is. I'm not saying it's going to take nine months, but you are in this bit of a period of gestation as your person is working through the darker energies that are surrounding them. They're seeing you in quite a protective way, that you do try really hard to protect the connection between them, despite their actions, despite how they treat you. Um, you have tried to maintain this connection, to protect this connection, to want to keep this connection going, and all credit to you, you know? Um, they find that quite enthralling, Spirit is saying, that they find it quite a a turn on as such that you do care so deeply for them they are fully aware of how you feel for them they do know you don't need to keep telling them they are fully fully aware of how you feel about them they're seeing you in a very kind of stable position knowing what you want from the connection that you're feeling quite kind of secure within yourself and you're just waiting for them to catch up with you and again they are aware of that they are aware of that um it's Poppy, I put her on the start of the video, um, she wasn't looking at the screen. So through this awareness and through this kind of downtime and this soul searching, these are when these new opportunities are coming up, okay? New opportunities coming your way, new possibilities, um, new probabilities as well. Highest probability in this is that you guys will eventually get this all sorted and that you will move things forward, that things are going to turn into your favour. There is another, deck number one was the same, that there is this kind of cycle going on with you guys. There is this need to break the cycle, but it does look with deck number two that the cycle is going to break sooner rather than later. That things are going to start turning. The wheel is going to start turning towards you. And just like the wheel of fortune, which you've got over here when you play the game, sometimes, um, you know, I can't even remember that game, but sometimes you can't, can't, you feel like you can't win. And then other times you hit the jackpot. And this is a case of hitting the jackpot. It's just about taking, it's going to take a little bit of time through that gestation period. So your person is aware that they want a future with you. They are aware that you, how you feel of them feel for them they are aware of it all and they're just going within themselves at the moment to work out what it is that they want and what they want is the connection with you maybe not right now they're not making moves on it right now but further down the line there is that progression rate with them so you have um this state of this kind of confusion going on as they're looking through their choices looking through what they can do to bring their love back for their life and um, and all roads all roads lead to you. I love me that. All roads through this confusion that they are going through will lead to you. And through that confusion, you have this action and this movement and this passionate new beginnings coming forward. A lot more secure, a lot more stable than it has been before. Your energies are going to be much more aligned with purpose, knowing what you guys want. Your person also looks to other people and sees what they're doing with their lives, sees their connection with others, perhaps their friends are married or family, um, et cetera, et cetera. And there is a sense of jealousy that comes from that. You know, they look at that and think, well, you know, I could really, I could settle down. I could have this. I could have all of this connection. Um, but at the moment, your person's just pressing pause on it a little bit. And the reason why they're pressing pause on it is because they want to make sure that they're making the right choices with regard to this. You have got a phenomenal future over here, but it's all going to start with possibilities and changes. And your person is going to create these opportunities with you. So even if it's a bit dark at the moment, there is that progression from it. Nurturing, you know, this relationship does need nurturing. Just as we water the plants that helps the world grow, just as plants need the sun, this connection needs the same. You know, it needs the light, it needs the sun, it needs kind of a little bit of water, water being emotions. Um, it needs all of that to nurture, to grow. And there is growth here. There is really strong growth. Um, so their thoughts on you is they can see the growth of this. They're just thinking it all through at the moment, trying to protect themselves a little bit, um, protect their energies, protect what they're thinking, um, protect, you know, knowing that they have to make these changes and this, this transformation, but there is shifting. There is shifting. And there's a magic to this as well. You know, there's a magical element of this. You 
the magical element is coming down to you guys, your manifestations. If you need a manifestation plan, give me a shout. Bringing in what it is that you want into your reality. You have it all here. Um, it's just that this kind of gestation period as it takes a bit of time. But your person's thoughts towards you and what they are thinking and what they want is they want this to go go the distance. It's just at their speed and not yours. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But they are seeing you in this kind of, this is the person I want to spend my life with. I just need to get through this little bit of dark side to realise that 100%. They know, they do know, they do know there is new birth here new birth of the connection between you guys things are going to change uh things will turn and your person's thoughts towards you as you know almost overwhelming you know they're very overwhelmed with the connection at the moment but they do have a love for you and that love will shine and that through that love shining the light will shine and the relationship will get nurtured and these possibilities will open up to new pathways for you and your person to go together and that is deck number two. So if you need me, just give me a shout. Uh, I hope you all have a phenomenal week. I am sending tons of love to you, tons of blessings all over the world from my house to your house. Um, I will speak to you all soon. Stay safe in these difficult times. Tons of love, guys. Ciao.